And this is number two. So it's now Monday afternoon, Monday evening, and uh, the conference starts on Friday. That's Friday, the uh, um, the eighth of July, and today is uh, Friday, the fourth of July. So yeehaw, Yankees! To everybody in the United States, and who knows what may be what may be happening in the next twenty four hours. Certainly, there seems to be an awful lot happening. If you listen to Kim Gogan, uh, she's done an update on the twenty seventh, which is very very detailed. The level of the detail gives me a, a, an impression that it's not all made up. I think there's something to that. And uh, I think it's worth looking at and uh, taking care of. Certainly, when I tried looking at it uh, last night, uh, it was uh, the server wouldn't play after about the first five minutes. So I think her server's been got at. Anyway, um, we are rigging on Thursday, and I appreciate all the help that people are sending. We do need donations as we're trying to do this on a shoestring. And the technical equipment, since it was last used for megalithomania, has suffered a few hiccups. Courtesy, it would seem, uh, due to a number of invasive software upgrades by Windows. Anyway, um, right, on Friday, we're going to be doing basically uh, a recording with Sandra DeRoy. She did a presentation uh, at Probe. She wasn't able to really finish it. She wasn't really... Uh, uh, together, so she's prepared a, 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 um, a presentation called Who is Running the World and How They Operate. We'll see how different that is to Kim Guggen's uh, version and, um, you know, uh, other people's like um, other various experts in the world. Uh, people I would pay attention to would be dark journalists and uh, some guy in the state in, in Japan whose um, name is just uh, Benjamin Fulford, yeah. Uh, what he calls the Kazarian Mafia and what Michael Shrimpton called the DVD. There's a whole pile more levels above that, and Kimberly Guggen um, does explain that, and she's also explaining that most of those layers are gone. There's been a big clear out right up to Marduk and the whole lot, Anil and all that sort of stuff. We'll have to see. Okay, uh, around about two o'clock, we'll be doing Bob Brown. Bob Brown's from the International UFO Congress and currently running UFO Megacon. Uh, and uh, it's absolutely fantastic he's here in the UK. So we're going to take advantage of that and do two interviews with him. One with Gemma Cooper, so she can give a sort of in an introductory, wider sort of general aspect uh, as who he is and what's going on. And then a more detailed, uh, maybe you put your anoraks on for this one, with Colin Wolford. So we're going to do that, do a recording with that, on uh, with Bob Brown on Friday afternoon. We're then going to have an uh, incisive uh, discussion and insightful what, what's going on, Duncan. So Duncan, uh, hopefully Duncan will be able to t turn up on Friday afternoon and he responds very well when people start asking questions and then he gives very long detailed answers. And hopefully Gemma will be able to pry some really key things out of that to see what this whole thing is with Tim Refat, MI6, the whole Celestial Paladin stuff and why those TikTok videos are so graphic. Uh, then we have the uh, keynote speaker for Friday, and that is Maria Wheatley, Sacred Designs from S Stone Circles to Druid Temples. And I'll be finish off with Ben Emblin Jones and a pop an Apocalypse soon. Now, uh, Kerry Cassidy says she'd be uh, down at that time. So we're expecting to decant, decant to, um, well, we're not going to be staying on a hall till 10 o'clock. So um, the idea is on Friday evening, if you watch out on Kerry Cassidy's uh, Project Camelot, that we'll be doing a live show from here uh, in this studio thing. And uh, we'll see how that goes. And we'll do that live from here, right? Then on Saturday morning, we open at 9.30. And I'll be opening with uh, Bases Actual. Now, Elena Danan was uh, meant to be here, but Due to things that she only she knows, uh, she didn't come, she wasn't coming, and she's given me permission to use some of her artwork uh, in her book to explain one or two things uh, in the book, Alien Races. And um, there are a number of people now who have come forward and said, right, what's in her book, those drawings are accurate. That's a really big deal. That's three or four people now have come forward and identified that the drawings in Elena Danan's book, Alien Races, uh, uh, those, those drawings are accurate to what they have 
personally encountered. And that's really important. Now, Mike M., uh, we then got Martin Coleman, who's going to do Ancient Mysteries and the Gnostic Counterfeit Spirit. He's been preparing this as his first presentation, and he'll be uh, going through that uh, very, very graphically in detail. Now, Mike Emery is sending equipment. He's sending uh, materials to build uh, an organ-type device at the... Um, he's going to build some kind of a structure. So a big, big thrill. It'll be built on stage and uh, on, the, on the main stage. And people will be able to sort of experience this whole organ structure thing. I hope they can take it apart quickly and easily on Sunday night. Anyway, following lunch, we'll be having Harry Rhodes. That's Harry of the Ether, new breakthroughs and demonstrations on etheric technology. Now, he's got an awful lot of stuff on etheric stuff. He's uh, way ahead of the original work of Trevor James Constable. And, of course, it's very similar to the kind of work and energy that Mike Emery has talked about. So, uh, basically, Saturday is etheric uh, organ day. It's all afternoon, basically, is going to be all about that. We then have a break, and uh, Kerry Casty will deliver her uh, keynote speaker and transhumanization, uh, transhumanism, and the takeover of the planet. A whole lot of stuff going on. Kimberly's explained that. A lot of people are explaining things using a slightly different language, but basically it's all, all hell's breaking loose. Then uh, we're going to have Professor Valentina Zarkova. Uh, now I've still got him in. I've still got Colin in as a uh, speaker for for um, for the uh, afternoon of. Um, he has, isn't actually speaking in the afternoon. He's speaking on Sunday, so we hope to uh, go straight into Professor Valentina Zarkova, the keynote speak speaker for the whole conference. Magnetic fields, their role in forming the solar activity and the effect of solar activity on the Earth and other planets. This is really important, and it's important for us all because this is a scientific and analytical, mathematically proven uh, backwards in time and forward in time. That's why we're in Mondra Minimum. This is very, very important, and I'm really honoured that um, she's able to come down to deliver this uh, to to us here in, in, in Pusey. Uh, the event is held in Bouverie Hall in Pusey, and uh, it starts on Friday morning. Colin will then kick off on, on Sunday with Decoding Star Wars, followed by Gloria Moss, The War Between Opposing Personalities, The Non-Woke, Awake, and The Psychopaths. It's very important uh, what she's got and what she, and she holds her own conference, um, Truth, the Truth University. She'll be holding her own conference in August. Then we have Break. Then we have Michael Shrimpton, Intelligence and Geopolitical Update. And then after lunch, we'll have Matthew Williams giving an urbex, urban exploring bases and underground tunnels. He's got some really fascinating material there. It's absolutely fantastic. It'd be great after lunch. Then we have the absolutely delightful and very beautiful Andrea Fouts. No karma and no drama. So she's got some very wise words there. Then following, following her, we'll have Kerry Murray. Uh, we've got two Kerrys, one Kerry Cassidy, a woman, and one Kerry Murray, a bloke. Uh, Unite, are you allowed to say that these days? And he's talking about the United Free Press, independent journalists. Uh, it's only recently been formed, but with the frustration on journalism and mainstream, everything being hamstrung. And if you look at um, why that's happening and how that's happening, uh, you'll, you'll see that from um, Kimberly Guggen's uh, report on the 27th. Anyway, um, Kerry Murray will be talking about that. Then we have the beautiful Sandy Adams. Everybody loves Sandy Adams. And hopefully her laptop will work, and she's going to be doing awareness of the agenda for global government and our enslavement. That's all part of what Kimberly Gogan has been talking about. And then finally, to close the show, we've got Karen Dodd uh, from, the, from Here to Eternity, and Karen's absolutely fantastic. She's doing a lot of work in the background. Uh, meeting people, uh, her her organization, the Freedom Network, doing a huge amount of work all across the country, all individual groups. And that'll be the end of uh, the conference. For those of you who wish to, there'll be a small gathering of uh, in the barge on Saturday. Speakers, uh, we go to speakers, um, a speakers dinner there. Uh, we can only fit about eight or nine or ten people in, uh, and so that that's that's on Saturday evening, which means we must end on time. And I'm going to end this on time. That's the basis project. I may I may I might even get a haircut. Bloody hell! 
Uh, in the meantime, there's a hell of a lot of technical kit. I'm having a lot of problems with the interface boxes. What worked last time ain't working this time. It's very frustrating and uh, it's causing a lot of problems to how we're able to do the conference. That little thing, HDMI to SDI, having problems with it. Okay, uh, and those things look work and then you look the other way and they don't look work. Anyway, uh, that's it for now.